Mom, where are you? Answer me. What's your problem? My problem? I told you I was coming to your house today, remember? I reminded you several times. Like a month ago, a week ago, and yesterday. Oh, right. That was today, huh? Yes, it was today. I just arrived at your house and you're nowhere to be seen. Where the hell are you, Mom? I'm at Jason's house, of course. What? Why are you at Jason's house? Don't you remember why I was coming today? I wanted to introduce you to my fiancé. Don't you care at all? Oh, please, Krista. Stop being such a drama queen. What did you want me to do? Stay home and wait for you like a good little mommy? You're just jealous, I can tell. Your younger brother, Jason, is so much more precious to me. You know how hard he works at that amazing company, right? And like you, who's wasting your life doing God knows what. Okay, big shot and big company. But you promised me you'd be available today, remember? Yeah, well, you don't need to bring your fiancé over at anything. I don't give a damn about you or who you marry or whatever. None of that matters to me. I know you don't care about me, Mom. I've known that for a long time. After living with you for 18 miserable years, I just hoped you'd keep your word for once and meet the person I love. I know you don't value my promises, but... How dare you talk to me like that, young lady? You act like I've always broken my promises to you. You know that's a lie. No, I'm not lying. You've always let me down. Even when I was in school, you never came to any of my events or meetings. You never showed up to my parent-teacher conferences. But you always went to Jason's, didn't you? Is that supposed to shock me? What's wrong with favoring my wonderful and adorable son? Unlike you, he's always been better than you in every way. He got a job at a huge corporation, right? You need to understand something. I don't have a husband anymore. I'm going to take care of the child who will take care of me when I'm old and frail. And that child is not you. You don't have to be so cruel. You don't even need to tell me about your fiancé. I think I remember him. He's the same guy you dated in high school, right? Well, I don't have high hopes for your fiancé. Wait, don't you remember, Mom? You were the one who made me go to that school. I didn't want to go there, you know? Well, yes, of course. I told you to go to that school. Honestly, I didn't want you to go to any private school. But I had to pretend that our family was classy and sophisticated. I wish you could have skipped high school altogether, to be honest. I needed to save money for Jason and his future education. I wanted to give him the best opportunity possible, you know? But then, your father had to insist that you go to some low-end private school because he wanted you to get some basic education, so I had no choice. Yeah, and I remember when that same father died. You snatched away my college tuition. You claimed that it was all yours. And you kept all of the inheritance for yourself, which I'm guessing you're using to buy your fancy clothes. You, ungrateful little brat. You should be thankful that I paid for two years of your useless college tuition. What a waste of money. And then you work at some pathetic part-time job, which I don't even know how you got, and paid off the rest of your tuition. You should have done that from the start. Then I could have saved more money for myself when I get old. You know how scared I am. Wait. What are you talking about, Mom? If you hadn't asked me for your tuition for your first two years of college, then I could have added that to the inheritance that your father left me. Then I could have lived much more comfortable life after I retire and get old. Hold on. You're blaming me for you spending your husband's inheritance like it was nothing? I think that says more about your flaws than mine. Maybe if you'd actually planned your finances better, you would still have some money left. How dare you talk back to your mother like that? This is why I can't stand people like you. You're not grateful at all for someone who raised you even when they didn't want you in the first place. Jason is so much nicer to his mother than you are and takes much better care of her. Okay, mom. Whatever. You're saying that you don't want to meet my fiancé, right? You're not even going to say hi? Nope, not interested. I don't care about some poor girl and some random guy she pick up from the street getting married. You're such a pain in the ass. The least you could have done as a daughter is to find some rich and handsome man who could help me live comfortably. If you want to live so comfortably, which I know actually means extravagantly, 
Why don't you just get a job yourself, Mom? And why the hell should I work for myself when I've worked so hard racing you? I poured my heart and soul into racing you and your brother. So, it's only logical that you and your younger brother should take care of me when I'm too old to take care of myself. Do you really believe any of that crap you're spewing right now? Yeah, you're my kids. It's common sense that you should look after your parents, but you know what? You don't have to come back at all. You just send me money regularly. I'm gonna live with Jason since he's actually smart and kind, unlike you. You're going to live with Jason? Yeah, I'm gonna sell the house we used to live in. And I'm going to move in with Jason in his big apartment. I've always dreamed of living with Jason, so it's perfect for me. You know what? I'll make you a deal. I'll forget everything if you just send me $1,000 a month. What are you saying? Forget everything and $1,000 a month? I'm saying I don't give a damn about anything. As long as you just pay me $1,000 a month. It's not like I ever wanted to live with someone like you anyway, so don't sweat it. Really? All you have to do is just pay me, okay? Just as a token of gratitude for me and all I've done for you. Can we end this now? I'm going to have fun with Jason now, so bye. Yeah, I think we've both realized that there's no point in waiting for you at all. To be honest, I don't think there's any reason to see you. Even if you did show up. So, we're leaving too. Hey, I heard you came over yesterday to introduce your fiancé, right? I'm so sorry, I had no idea. Mom mentioned something to me and I told her to go back home right away. But you know how mom is. She never listens to anyone. I begged her to at least go say hi to your fiancé. But I'm sorry. Ugh. Ugh. It's okay, Jason. I don't blame you. I'm used to her antics by now. And I know she's been harassing you too. She probably just showed up at your house unannounced and barged in without any warning, right? Yeah. Yeah. How did you guess? I was shocked when I heard her knocking on my door. She had a spare key to my place. A, a spare key? Yeah, yeah. My girlfriend was staying over at my place since the day before yesterday too. We were planning to chill and watch movies at my place over the weekend. But of course, once mom arrived, all of that went out the window. Wait, wait. You're telling me that your girlfriend was staying over at your place and mom decided to just crash and stay? Yeah. Yeah, you should have seen the look on my girlfriend's face when we heard her unlock the door with her spare key. We both freaked what out. What the hell? What the hell? Yeah, yeah, well, apparently she helped herself to my spare key when she visited me before. So, yeah. Wait, wait, was your girlfriend okay? I know that she hates any woman that gets close to you, right? She can't stand them being near to you at all. Yeah, she, yeah, she tried to badmouth her as a bonus to breaking into my place. So, you know, I told her to get lost as soon as possible. You have no idea how much I had to apologize after that. Well, well, then I guess you got the short end of both sticks, huh? You know, you know, I've been meaning to ask you. But don't you think that she's gotten worse after dad passed away? Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with that. But did you know that she told me the other day when she ditched me that she wanted me to pay her a thousand dollars a month? Just as a sign of respect for raising us? Wait, wait, what? Well, well, according to her plans for her life, she's going to sell the house she lives in now, and she's going to move in with you and your apartment. You take care of her when she's too old to take care of herself. Oh, and she wants me to finance all of this by sending her at least a thousand dollars a wait, month. Wait, 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 hold on. Live in my place? Yeah, yeah. I kind of figured you were in the dark about that when she said that. I'm sure she was just trying to rub it in my face how great you two are. But I didn't expect to be right on the money. I'm going to be I'm going to be renewing my lease for my apartment soon. I was actually thinking that after the lease is over, I would move in with my girlfriend. And what the hell is she talking about? Me taking care of her? She must have the money that dad left her, right? I'm sure that's more than enough for her to live comfortably. Oh, oh. She's already spent most of that money already. Wait, wait, what? But there's like so much money in that inheritance, right? And she even told us that we needed to not expect any kind of inheritance either. Just so that she could take on all the inheritance. 
She kept all that to herself. Come on, come on, Jason. You really think that the woman has any kind of idea how to spend money responsibly? Honestly, she keeps talking about how much we owe her or how much I should want to repay her for everything that she's ever done for me. But I don't feel like I owe her anything. I really feel like I've done more than enough to repay her for whatever she's done. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. You know that recently she figured out how to use my credit card information online, right? She's been doing a shopping spree on Amazon. It's literally insane. Wait, wait, you too? Oh, so, oh, so she's been using your card too? Oh my god, that woman's shame knows no bounds. Yeah, yeah. When I went back to our parents' house because it was our dad's day of passing, I'm like 99% sure that she probably looked at my credit card information when I wasn't looking and copied it down somewhere on her notepad. You've, you've got to be kidding me. You, you know what she said when I asked her to stop? She started complaining. She said that you've already forgot all the money that I've spent on you growing up. When I think about the fact that I have to be family with her for the rest of my life, I'm not sure that I can keep it up. That was probably one of the moments where I was almost sure that I would have to completely cut ties with her. Oh, tr oh trust me, you're not the only one. I've been thinking about it every day. I ought to think of something to deal with her too. Ugh, ugh, yeah. Kind of switching topics real quick, but... Would it be alright if I go ahead and send you the wedding invitations? Oh, oh, you guys have already picked out a venue? Yeah, yeah, we kind of just went with it and chose it yesterday. Hey, hey, so about that, would it be alright if I take my girlfriend to your wedding as well? I mean, I mean, if she's interested in going, then by all means, please bring her along too. But are you sure she's okay with it? She works in, she works in the same company as me. She's in the secretarial department, but yeah. Okay, okay, I see. I'll send out my wedding invitations for you two. Be sure to hand her hers too. Thanks, sis. Thanks, sis. Oh, oh, and about both of our families meeting up with each other to get to know each other, I'll let you know when we decide on a date for everyone to be able to say hi. I'm pretty sure mom won't ever make the time of day to come say hi, but... Yep, you're, yep, you're probably right. I'll be saying hi to them on behalf of your mom and dad, alright? If that's cool with you anyway. Yeah, yeah. You have no idea how great it is to have a younger brother who knows how to handle himself. You're a lifesaver. Alright, I'll message you again when everything is set in stone. Go ahead and let your girlfriend know too. You realize that I'm your mother, right? How dare you kick your own mother out of your wedding? What were you thinking? No. I want you to tell me what the hell were you thinking? You showed up to your own daughter's wedding in funeral attire. What are you on? Oh, come on. It was perfect for this kind of wedding, don't you think? I think I nailed it. That awful wedding with no style or any kind of class at all? Did you see how tiny it was? I would be so out of place wearing a nice dress. Stylish funeral garb is more than suitable for a little wedding like that. I really can't believe the nerve that you have wearing funeral attire to a wedding. That's why I told you to get out of the wedding immediately. You're seriously one of the most wicked people that I know. You can come back and open these doors to the wedding right now? Yeah, I'm definitely not going to let you ruin this wedding in that funeral outfit. Oh my god, did you not hear what I said? This small, puny wedding, it doesn't matter what I wear. This is a beautiful wedding venue, and a wonderful wedding is happening right now. There are hardly any guests that came to your wedding either. I don't think I saw more than 20 people. I don't think you can expect many people to come to your baby shower and give you gifts. Are you some kind of idiot? The whole point of these weddings is to invite as many people as you can that have nothing to do with anything, and make sure that you get your money back with gifts. Oh, please. Like you're ever going to give us anything. You have no intention of celebrating our wedding. Well, yeah, I'm your mother. I should be able to do everything with you for free. Don't you get it? I'm actually speechless. You're going to suddenly act like you're some loving mother that cares about her daughter when you didn't even show up to the family meeting? And besides, 
We only invited people who are actually relatives in our families. There are no extra guests at this wedding. You realize the endless list of people we would have to invite if we started inviting people who aren't relatives? You need to invite more than enough people to cover your cost. Now, you're barely going to break even because you didn't invite any extras. I was actually planning on taking all of the extra income that you made, and you've gone and spoiled it. Wait, what? You were going to take all of it? I mean, look at the size of the wedding venue. It's so small and I'm sure it's super cheap too. Honestly, it's just creamy low budget. And I thought it was a funeral. Funeral attire is perfect for this. You really don't know who my husband is, do you? Huh? I mean, yeah. How would you know? It's not like you came to the family meeting like I asked you to. Then you would have known. Actually, now that I think about it, you didn't even bother to say hi to him before that. He's just your dumb boyfriend from high school, right? Yeah, he is my high school sweetheart. But you know what else? I never told you that he was from the same school as me. That was something that you just assumed. What are you talking about, Krista? When I was going to after-school tutoring because Dad recommended that I go for college entrance exams, I met someone who was in the same grade as me. He's actually from a different high school. Yeah, I don't really care. These details are all irrelevant. No matter what, that man only had a wedding this small, which means that he's also small in more ways than one. He's obviously poor, no doubt. Okay, I guess you're right, Mom, if that's what you call poor. But to me, the heir to a giant corporation is not even close to being poor. What? The heir to a giant corporation? Yes, he's the son of a giant corporation's president. He works there as the successor for the next president. You know that really big company that your Jason works at? He's the boss of Jason? That's what I meant by there being no end to this. When we started inviting people who weren't relatives, we made sure it was only relatives at this wedding. Hold on a minute. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, do you realize that your son works at a really big corporation? Well, the president of that really big corporation is going to be my father-in-law. Are you getting the picture? The next president is my husband. And if you look at the hierarchy, my husband is Jason's boss. You've got to be joking right now, right? At first, I thought he was joking too, but then I believed him. So you're telling me that your husband is really the heir to a giant corporation? Yeah, but you know, I guess the heir to that corporation, your son's boss is just a regular broke bum. To me, I think that this man is amazing and hardworking. Not many people can achieve what he has. Wait, so you're telling me that you have successfully married into a lot of money? I mean, yeah, I guess most people would say that. But I don't know about you. Oh my god, what a wonderful daughter I have! I'm so proud of you, honey. Now, my life is going to be secure and safe too. Hang on though, mom. I'm sorry to break this news to you like this, but I'm going to be cutting off all ties with you. What did you just say to me? I know that you want to use my position as the wife of an heir and Jason working at his high-paying job so that you can just sit back and siphon out all that sweet, sweet money my way. But I'm not going to let that happen. I'm sorry, but no. And that's why we're both going to be cutting all ties with you. You will not be family with us anymore. Wait! What do you mean both? Anyway, I've got to go now because the wedding is about to start. I don't have time for you. Wait, you just hang on a second, young lady. Pick up your damn phone, Krista! What the hell are you up to? I'm busy, Lexi. I'm getting ready for my honeymoon, and I don't have time for this. Don't you dare talk to me like that! Well, I think you should take a good look at yourself and ask the same question. Save your sarcasm for someone else. 
I need to talk to Jason. Where the hell is he? Jason? He's not here. I know that. I went to his apartment and the door was locked. I asked the security guard and he said Jason moved out. That's right. He did. <laughs> what did you just say? He moved out. The day before the wedding. He didn't tell you? You remember that girl he brought to the ceremony? Yep, yeah, he moved in with her. How could he just do this to me? What the hell is going on? I told you, Lexi. We're done with you. Both of us. You're lying to me. No, I'm not. And you know why? Because if he told you where he lives now, you'd be stalking him every day. You'd be showing up at his door with your homemade pies that he hates. You'd be stealing his spare key and snooping around his place. You'd be using his credit card to buy yourself useless junk. And he begged you to stop. He said you were suffocating him. He said you were a parasite that sucked the life out of him and me. How can you say that? I'm his mother and I'm just looking out for him. That's what mothers do. Yeah, well, you're not our mother anymore. And you know what else? Jason and I are not kids anymore. We're adults. We don't need you to baby us or leech off us. Aren't you ashamed of yourself using your own son's money to buy yourself crap online? He owes me for everything I've done for him. No, he doesn't. Doesn't owe you anything, and neither do I. We're done paying you back. We're done being your children. We're out. And you know what? You should be glad you still have a house to live in. And you're not too old to work. You have plenty of energy to flip some burgers, right? You kicked the wedding doors hard enough. You should use that energy to earn your own money. You know, all that money dad left you that you squandered in no time? The inheritance you kept for yourself? Maybe you should learn how hard dad worked to make that money. Maybe then you'll appreciate what hard work means. I don't want to work. I want to live like a queen. You know, living a boring and poor life is your choice, not mine. If you worked hard, you could save up some money. Jason belongs to me. His mother, his blood. Not some random girl he met on the street. I'm the only one who matters, not her. Okay, enough. I actually talked to her before the wedding. She's a secretary at a huge company. She's smart and kind. And she's perfect for Jason. Secretary? Yeah, they met at work. I don't work at the same place as my husband, so I was a bit jealous of them. You should hear how they fell in love. But it doesn't matter, because I quit my job. I'm going to be a housewife. Wait. So you're saying that Jason's girlfriend works at the same big company as he does? That means she must be making a lot of money, right? Oh, here we go again. Are you after more money? I was planning to live with Jason forever. But you know what? I changed my mind. I'm fine with living with them. They just need to get married so we can all live together and they can support me. Yep, that's not happening. I talked to Jason, and he has no intention of ever living with you again. I don't know where you got that idea. And he's not going to tell you if he gets married. What? Why the hell not? Why would he? You showed up at my wedding dressed like you were going to a funeral. And you didn't even apologize. Well... It seems like you didn't care about my wedding at all. But I'm not surprised, really. You never cared about me as a person either. But don't worry, I'll let you go. Mom, you can do whatever you want without bothering me. I don't want to spend any time with you when all you do is poison me. Wait a minute. You know, Jason and I are grateful that you gave birth to us. Thank you for enduring the pain of labor. But I think it's time for us to go our separate ways. Well, you need to go your way and we'll go ours. I think that's best for everyone. So, let's end it here. Hold on. I have a brilliant idea. I'm okay with living with you too for the rest of my life. I'll sell the house that dad left me and get some money. Then I can move in with you and your husband. I'll even help with the grandkids. If you ever have any, I promise I'll babysit them. Yeah, no thanks. I want you to live alone from now on. Mom, this is what you get for pushing people away. You've cut all of my credit cards too? How could you do that? 
Whose money am I supposed to use now? Your own money? I told you I don't want to work. You're such a moron. You know, there are lots of jobs out there if you weren't so choosy. And with the way you act, I doubt you'll ever run out of steam. You've got some nerve, I'll give you that. Krista, don't you dare hang up on me. This is when you should be taking care of your parents. Oh, shoot. That's my flight. I have to go now. Goodbye. Wait, you can't just leave me like this. How could you? I can't reach Jason at all. He never replies to my messages or calls. You married into a fortune and I don't get a dime. I hate it so much. I don't want to be discarded by my own children. Jason and I cut off all contact with her. We deleted her number, blocked her on everything, erased her from our lives. But she didn't give up. She showed up at the company where my brother and my husband work, but it's a huge place. They have strict security. They caught her before she could cause any trouble. They kicked her out and told her to go home. Now she's desperate to find us. She needs money to survive, so she's working at a supermarket near her house. She whines to her co-workers about how she's too old to work, but they don't like her. They avoid her like the plague. They know she's a toxic woman, and her bosses are always on her case for being lazy and incompetent.